Shalom. Before I begin this video, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rechakwadash, and also as well, uh, double honors to the apostles and the others of Great Millstone. They continue to rule very well to this very day. That is a uh, fiend of fly through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. And um, also as well, uh, Shalom to the whole field elect as well. Let's continually labor in this work and also do labor to show forth your diligence to make your calling in election sure in faith in truth and sincerity and also in all charity now um it's going to be a, a quick video through the spirit um we're going to entitle this video as the vessels of the lord okay in which uh when you read in the scriptures concerning uh, particular kinds of vessels you know, the Lord has uh, reserved, you know, vessels for a certain purpose. Okay. And really, you know, vessels are used for a particular purpose, you know, depending on what the, the maker of that vessel is using, using it for. Okay. And really is up to the, the maker himself to decide what that vessel is used for. And that is one of the main things that we go into concerning the Bible, you know, that the Lord has control, he has complete control over everything that you see around us, including uh, the people, okay? And the Lord has appointed lots for the people, especially among our people, uh, the so-called Negro, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and also the, uh, the Edomites, which is the uh, true biblical nationality of the so-called white man. You know, he has uh, set lots for everybody that's here on the planet Earth. Okay? And, um, you know, the Lord has appointed, you know, certain people to to be on the side of of mercy and on the side of wrath and that's why when you go into the bible there's a specific, a specific uh, scripture that goes into uh, the certain vessels that uh, are used for clean uses and there are some vessels that are used for filthy uses all right, uses that are unclean. Okay, and you know, and and the Bible also consistently tells you, or it lines out, you know, who is set to be used for clean uses, and who is to be used for uh, unclean uses. Okay, and of course, you know, the scripture is going to the ones who are of the elect of the nation of Israel, which that's who it starts with. You know, those are the vessels that the Lord is using for clean uses. All right. But the rest, especially uh, Esau, Edom, is used for unclean uses. All right. So again, you know, like I said at the beginning, you know, the Lord has a uh, it is up to the Lord to decide, you know, what the vessel is used for. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and hop into the precepts. Um, first, I'm going to grab uh, Wisdom of Solomon, uh, chapter 15. I'm going to start at verse, uh, I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, For the potter temperate soft earth fashioneth every vessel with much labor for our service and you know this is a, a labor's work that the Lord has done alright you know this this is I mean think about it since the beginning of time you know the Lord has drawn out uh, future events that were to take place up until this time today and into the future and you know it that, that took great labor 
I mean, even the creations of the heavens and the earth, you know, it took a certain amount of time for the Lord to uh, create these things. All right. So likewise, with uh, the vessels that you see today, you know, the people that you see in the, the Lord setting the, uh, the destinations for these people and planning in their minds on things that they uh, that they should do which is according to prophecy and according to scripture okay uh, according really according to the will of Yahweh Bashem Shai because that's what it's about at the end of the day okay but it says here uh, yeah of the same clay which you know of course you know we uh, we all have organs you know, we all have blood. You know, we have two eyes, two ears, one mouth, one nose, two hands. You know, we all have a body, right? So it says uh, of the same clay, he maketh both the vessels that serve for clean uses. And likewise, also, all such as serve to the contrary. And what's the contrary? The unclean uses. Okay. So you have vessels that serve for clean uses, which is clean uses doing his work serving Yahweh Bashem El Shai and then you have the vessels that serve for the contrary which is the unclean uses all right and what is the purpose of having vessels for unclean uses well to fulfill prophecy at the end of the day though that's what it's about it's about the fulfillment of prophecy okay and not only that, the Lord is making a distinction and setting the order down on the planet Earth and is making manifest the ones who is he was going to choose to be in a seat of rulership. Okay? And to rule alongside Yahweh Shai, which is the uh, true name of the Son of the Heavenly Father. Okay? Which again, his name is Yahweh Shai. Okay? But here's the point. It says, uh, but what is the use of either sort? The potter himself is the judge. See, so the potter himself, which the potter represents, uh, Yahweh Bashmel Shai. And it says here that he himself is the judge. Okay. So that's why, you know, uh, like the scriptures say, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Because he's the one who dictates our lives, you know. He's the one who sets certain things in, in, in order and draws out our daily lives, you know. The people don't realize that. You know, they don't realize that everything that they have done up to this point and what they're going to do in the future is all in the plans of Yahweh Bashar al Shai. All right, he's laid out the path. He put down the destination. And guess what? These people are all going to reach that destination. And it's up to you, how about Shmuel Shai, to put certain people in certain places <clears throat> to have them reach a certain destination. Okay? So uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump from there. It's the book of Jeremiah chapter 18 and um, this is at verse 3 it says then I went down to the potter's house and behold he wrought a work on the wheels and the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter so he made it again another vessel as seemed good to the potter to make it okay so now mind you there's uh, the clay was marred in which if you go into the word mar means to destroy okay so the potter destroyed that uh the clay right and then he made another vessel that seemed good for him to make okay and this next verse is going to drive the point home right verse 5 says then the word of the lord yahweh bashmel shai came to me saying O house of Israel, so this is concerning the house of Israel, right? Cannot I do with you 
as his potter, saith the Lord, Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in my hand, O house of Israel. Right. And, and guess what? The Lord actually did that. You know, he caused Israel to fall. All right. And we lost our heritage and our nationality and everything that pertains to, to being an Israelite. But the Lord has, again, wrought a work on the wheel and created another vessel that seemed good in his sight. Okay. And that is going into the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay. Because the elect are, are the vessels that the Lord is using to bring about this work. Okay. And this is this is what seems good in, in the eyes of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Okay. In which, you know, really it started with um, Yahweh Shai, which taught the ones who believe in which are part of the elect. And through that, now you have this, uh, this fold being brought back into the good graces of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Okay. Because again, the, the, the potter fashioned it, fashioned this vessel a certain way. Okay. The, the way that he wants it to be and the way that seemed good in his sight. Okay. Now, uh, there's this last precept. This is Second uh, Timothy chapter 2. Verse 20, it says, but in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor, and some to dishonor. All right. It says, if a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. See that? So if you purge yourself of these things, it was really talking about the world and things that pertain to the world. And guess what? Then you are on the path to being a vessel, being made unto honor, and sanctified, which means to be purified, and meet, which means uh, worthy. You're worthy for the master's use. Okay. And prepared on every good work. So. This is a form of being put to, to a clean use by doing this. Okay. But then you have uh, the other vessels, right? Let's see if I can get it. Right. So you have other vessels that don't meet that criteria and um let's see i'm gonna start at uh, verse 21 so this is the book of romans chapter 9 verse 21 it says have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump right uh, again us being the same lump the same bodies right to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor right so there's one vessel that's unto honor and there's another verse on the dishonor. It's one for life. It's one for death. One for light. One for darkness. Okay. Uh, verse 22. It says, What if the Most High willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endure with much long suffering, the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? Okay. So, the Lord has vessels of wrath that are fitted to destruction they, they were specifically made to be destroyed okay when you when you dive into the mind of Yahweh Bashem El Shai you know you 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 see why so many people get offended all right but us here that's on this side we're, we're not offended at this all right now why because uh, you know this is this is the Lord this is Yahweh Bashem El Shai this is the power that created the heavens and the earth so, like it says in a verse, uh, verse 20, right? 
It's his neighbor, oh man, who I doubt that replies against the most high. See that? Shout a thing for him and say to him that formed it, why hast thou made me thus? So, who who are you to reply against Yahweh Bashmel Shai? He made a vessel on the honor, he made a vessel on the dishonor. Okay. So there's no replying against Yahweh Bashmel Shai. This this is this is his will. Okay. Whether whether the people like it or not. Alright, he will have his way. Okay. Um verse 23. It says and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy which he had a full prepared unto glory right and like I said earlier the Lord has set forth the path for all these people that are here he set forth the destination for the vessels of wrath and for the vessels of mercy okay because like it says here it says he afford which means uh, before prepared unto glory so he already prepared the glory for the vessels of mercy okay and he already prepared wrath for the vessels of destruction okay so that's why now you're seeing everybody fulfilling their role and you see who who are these specific vessels okay As whether these people are, you know, vessels that are fit on the mercy, which again is the elect, or the vessels of wrath, which are the rest of the people that are outside this fold. Okay. But um, I'm going to go ahead and end off on that note. And our Lord's will, this was an edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. Until next time, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rechakwadash. Also, uh, double honors to the apostles and the others of Great Millstone. They continue to rule their world to this very day. And also, uh, Shalom, peace and safety. Salutations to the whole field, like, as I continue to labor in this work and continue to labor to show forth your diligence to make your calling and election sure and faith and truly sincerity and also in all charity. And with that, goes to Shalom.